Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy, and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make a game pass that gives you an item. So we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are open, if Explorer and Properties are not open, we want to head to the top bar here, click on View, and open Explorer and Properties. Once you've enabled Explorer and Properties, you want to go over to Service Script Service and insert a script. Now that we've inserted the script into service script service, we're now going to want to remove all the previous code that is inside the script by going control A and backspace really up to just get rid of the old code. Then what you're going to want to do is go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the new code and paste it into the script. So control V or right click paste and insert the new code into the script. So now that we've inserted the code into the script, we now want to go make a game pass. So now to create a game pass, you're going to want to load onto your game on the main Roblox page. Then what you're going to want to do is go to the three dots up here, click on configure this experience. Then what you're going to do is click on here on the orange box, then click on associated items, and then click on passes. Then you want to click on create a pass. Your screen should look similar to this now. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is insert any image of your choice. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is name the game pass, whatever you would like it to be called. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna call it Sword. You can name it whatever, you can name it um, Boombox, you can name it uh, really anything you would like. But for this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave it as Sword. And you can always add a description. For this tutorial, I'm not going to add a description. Then once you've inserted the image, created a name, and possibly written a description, you can click create pass. So now that you've created your game pass, we now want to put it up for sale. So click on your game pass, then go to the left here and click on sales. Then you want to enable item for sale. So it should look something like that. Then you want to set a price of how much you want your game pass to be. For this tutorial, I'm just going to make it my game pass three Robux. Then you want to click save changes. So once you've set your game pass for sale, we want to click back on back to associated items. And then what we're going to want to do is go to the three dots up here and click copy asset ID. So now that we've created our game pass and copied the asset ID, we now want to go up here and remove the previous ID and insert our new game pass ID. So now that we've replaced the old ID with our new game pass ID, we now want to actually make the tool that players are going to receive when they purchase this game pass. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna be using something out of toolbox, but you guys can feel free to use any tool you would like. So for example, I'm gonna go click on toolbox here in home, and I'm gonna search up sword. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Roblox sword. We wanna click okay. And when it says, do you want to put this into starter pack? You can select yes or no. For this tutorial, I'm gonna select no because the starter pack is basically what every single player that joins your game will start off with. So without them even purchasing the game pass, they will have the sword. That's why I am not putting it in starter pack. But if you do decide to put it in starter pack, you can always move it around afterwards. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna be clicking no. So now that we've inserted the sword into the game, we can now and go and close toolbox. Then what you're going to want to do is go and find the sword, the classical sword, and you want to go down here to where it says parent. You want to click on where it says workspace. And basically this allows us to move the position of the sword. So for this tutorial, we are going to be wanting to put it into the script. So this is the script that we made earlier with the ID and also the tool name, which we will adjust in a second. So what you want to do is move the tool into the script that we had just made. You can also change the name of the script. So from script, you could change it to item game pass, but that's completely up to you. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna be leaving it as script. So now that you've inserted the item or sword into the script, what you wanna do is go back to the script and change another part of the script. So whatever your tool is named, you wanna go and paste that into here. So for example, mine is called classical sword, classic sword, sorry. You just wanna change this to classic just like that so now what we're going to want to do is go and close the script and we want to click the play button to go test it out as you guys can see we have just loaded into the studio 
And as you guys can see, we've been given a sword, which we are able to use. But we already own the game pass. So let's say we had to go and delete the game pass from our inventory or another player had to join our game, which didn't own the game pass. They would not have this here as of yet. The only time you are able to get the sword is once you have purchased that game pass. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.